Yeah, women are getting a lot of hand bone and no love. They can get it anytime they want, when they want, how they want it. It don't matter. They getting it though. They can be politicians, they can be a news anchor, they can be a dean of, they can be whatever, a vice president, they can be a mayor, whatever. And they're gonna get it, you know, and they don't have to look good to get it anytime they want. The, the women are getting a lot of, a lot, a lot of hand bone. All women, even deformed women, they're getting a lot of hand bone. It's not like it used to be. Guys are humping any and everything. At a, at a large number of guys are doing it. At one time it was just, you know, a little bit. Very small, very rare. But now guys don't have no standards because the society has convinced them to not be picky. Society has convinced men to not be picky. To accept all of a woman's flaws. To accept all of her flaws. You know, if she got a weight problem, accept that. If she got a loud mouth, it's, you know, it's because you ain't listening. You know, it's, they have directed all a woman's problems on a man. And in reality, it is true on a historical level because the man shouldn't have never been that weak. Adam should have never been that weak to do what. So all problems does come from a man provoked by a woman, but the man still had the indecision, you know. So, yes, all this comes from a man, you know, but... It's a sad thing that, you know, that the fact that the woman can be seduced by Satan like that. He can be seduced. A lot of women can, most women can be seduced by Satan like that. He always try to use the woman to bring men down, to bring mankind down. And powerful men, he use women um, every time. Um, it's always a woman that can learn everything about a man and she know exactly what chips to what chips to pluck off, to see them fall. Um, but women are getting a lot of sex. They're getting a lot of hand bone, they're getting a lot of sex, you know, and they can get it at a fast rate. They're getting a lot of wear and tear. They been the side chick for years. A lot of guys they dealing with are married, got a lot of women, they in relationships, got girlfriends. So they're getting a lot of wear and tear on their body at a young age. The best years of their life, they being a side chick. The best years of a woman's life, nine times out of ten, she's being a side chick to another man. Uh, a man that got money, or he's married, or whatever. Whether she know it or not, women can sense these things. And they like that energy of being able to try to take a man from another woman. That energy arouses them and gives them something to work on. So a lot of guys don't give women something to work on because they worship it. The men are worshiping their body and all that. They, oh, you look so nice. They can sense the, the, their presence have overcome that man's mind. So she look at him as she weak. But a married man shows strength, not because he's, not meaning that he's actually strong, but his situation allows him, doesn't allow him to be able to worship her the way he, even if he wanted to. He's always thinking, oh, I got kids in the house. Oh, what if I get caught? So he's always hesitating, and that puts that's putting him in a position of looking like he's strong-minded when he's really not strong-minded. He just don't have the capacity and um, luxury to give that woman, that side chick, a lot of energy. Anyway, I'm Alan Rillionaire. A lot of women getting a lot of hand bone, but ain't, ain't getting a lot of love. Subscribe, like, tell me what you think about this.